So, uh, how did the group look after time off? Uh, they've been sharp. You know, I think, again, just talking about the discipline that we need now, knowing that we're going to get everyone's best game. Um, what we did in the first part of the season isn't going to be good enough. Uh, it's, so, it's really about how we, how we turn the screws, little things showing up on time, being out in the field at a certain time, making sure we do our pre-activation. So, things that really don't have anything to do with the stuff on the field, but that change the mindset to, like, Instead of being the hunter, now it looks, you know, we'll be the hunted. When the coaches list, coaches list stuff like that, it's usually because somebody's messed up. Or you listen to it even though everybody's been dialed in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, get, I'm getting out in front of it, DJ. Okay. I, I know how these things go, <laughs> right? Uh, there's, there's been a lot of uh, great write-ups on, on, on individual players, the collective as a group. And those things are, uh, you know, the, the worst things that can happen to the psyche of a professional athlete. And so making sure that we're staying above the fray and, 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 and again, just really coming back in for part two of the season with a more, uh, with a hyper focus on doing all the little things right. I went back and looked it up last year. There was a tremendous run of form through the spring and early summer. But then there was a two week layoff after the league's cup and there was a major injury and the team lost three in a row in five out of six. You're gonna be shorthanded on this road trip. You haven't played a game in a couple weeks. Do, do you talk to the team about let's not repeat last year? Everybody's already lived it and they know it. No, you don't even want to put it in their. Brain. No, no, I don't. I think it's a different, it's a different time, yeah. different group, different mentality. Um, we're in a different position, um, and and again, all those things are factors, right? Last year we lost Pablo Ruiz, who was uh, an integral player to the way we were playing and was having his breakout season. Um, so you lose a player like that, you're going to be scrambling. Um, but but I think this year. You know, even though we're, we're going to be short-handed uh, for this week, I, I feel like the guys that have been able to step in, um, guys like, you know, Bodie Hidalgo and, and Oviedo and playing different positions, I think the, the, the mentality of the group is a bit stronger this year than it was last year. Having said all that, given how many injuries you had and the injured guys were all lined in the railing, so it kind of reminded me, oh, yeah, I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like there need to be a couple summer moves so that – you are prepared because the odds of an injury happening during yeah. the season are pretty good for everybody. Yeah, you don't realize how thin your group is until you get a couple, and, and now you have three center backs out, yeah. um, and, and that's a big deal. And so I think a couple reinforcements, uh, and not just reinforcements, guys that are going to push the level, right? Because I don't think, again, I don't like the guys have been great the first part of the season, but we're going to get everyone's best game coming down the stretch, and the pressure that comes on to getting in the playoffs. We need guys to come in that are going to raise the bar and, and, and demand that everyone get 1% to 2% better competitive mindset. We, we need to push it. It's not in time to just bring in cover. We, we need to raise the bar. I think you can go back in the league probably further than a lot of the younger players can remember, but five years, 10 years, 15 years, get back to when you play. Whatever a team does in May would probably be what that team does in March. Whatever you do in July is in May, so you have to raise the bar just because Everybody else is going to be raising the bar. I mean, you know, listen, you know, Columbus is bringing in a, a, a fantastic 10, dynamic 10. You got Giroud coming in LAFC. Every club's got, got players that are, they're bringing in to keep, again, keep everyone on their toes, to keep, you know, and, and it's also inspiring when you bring in a, a, a quality player where guys love to play with that player as well. And that injects some, you know, positivity within the group. And so, it's it's a necessary part, and and given the our you know our situation with uh, the players that we currently have, a few of them injured, I think it's more important than ever. As the league gets bigger, it feels like two leagues just because you don't see the Eastern Conference teams that often. And I don't think we maybe I'm blanking, but I don't remember seeing Montreal and RSL playing lately. So when you go back and and look at them and familiarize yourself, you know what challenges do they present? Um, again, I think they play a lot like Columbus do. And so the way we, we we deal with you know teams in other conferences that we don't see a lot of is basically what formation they play. Um, and depending on their defensive shape. These are the spaces that are going to be available, regardless of who they are. Um, and so, the, again, the focus has always been on how do we exploit spaces that team give, and then, and, and then how do we minimize their, their – they have some pretty good attacking rotations. Um, and you're going to see, you know, in, in a goal kick build, they'll have six guys in the box. You know, so that's something that, you know, we'll work on tomorrow. We haven't seen a whole lot of. Um, and it's just those little – idiosyncrasies that they have that we'll kind of focus on. But as far as like the general scout, it's, it's their dynamic team, um, you know, that, 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 that build in a 3-2 and defend in a you know, 5. So, and once we get that, the guys know exactly, okay, we're going to 
this is how we're going to defend. This is how these are the spaces we want to exploit. I've got uh, I've gotten asked a lot. You know, why is RSL so much better? And people want to know. You know, is it Chicho because he's out of his mind? Is it Andres because? Well, no matter how good one player is, you know, a whole defense can shut down one guy, so you got to have the second guy. Is it Katronis because you play a different formation? And uh, I got a great answer from one of your players. I'll tell you what it is, but first I want to hear your answer. Why is RSL so much better? I would say uh, there's a term that, that's called um, uh, the, the, the plateau of latent potential. And I've used this before, I think. Um, and everyone thinks that, oh, all of a sudden you're good. This has been years right? Establishing the right type of culture, right? Est establishing the way we want to play on both sides of the ball, the, the mindset needed to play on both sides of the ball. Um, and it can go, and, and, and it's a collective. It's not one player. It's not a coach. It's not one person in the front office. It's everyone. Now you start thinking about the players that we brought in, Oviedo, uh, Ojeda, um, Vera, right? These, and Katrana. So you start, so and now Chicho's having a great year, and, and, and Andres is having a great year, but it's everything. It's not one thing, and it takes time to build something. Nothing happens overnight, although that's the way we perceive it with our human brains. It doesn't happen like that. There's foundations that are built that aren't seen. No one likes to talk about the, the latent period. Everyone likes to talk about when it happens. And so it's really a culmination of everyone at the club doing a great job and the players executing at the weekends. So it's that old cliche, it took me five years to become an overnight success. Correct. That's, that, <laughs> that's, that's actually a, a, an easier way to digest what I said. <laughs> uh, Emeka Nelly said he thought if he had to boil it down to one thing, and clearly I was putting him in a box so he felt like he had to, he thought it was the tactical change and the club embracing the concept that we're going to have more possession because he says everyone's getting more touches. We have talented guys. And so now you're seeing what they can do because you're getting more chances to do what they do, whether it's the left back, it's the right winger, it's up top, or it's anybody else. That's a, I think that's a great assessment. You know, and I think everyone's going to look at it differently from their perspective. I think Emeka is getting a ton of touches, which every player likes. So it makes sense that he's very comfortable. But to be fair, it's been a feature of our game this year. Um, and I thought we were a really good repressing team last year. Having players closer together when the ball turns over enables us to, to, to be able to be a better repressing team. Having those players closer together allows for more combinations and allows for people to get more comfortable on the ball. Sometimes when there's bigger spaces and you don't get as many touches, if you have one mistake, you don't, you don't find the game. In our setup, you're always in position to receive the ball. And so that, that, that's a great point, and, and I'm glad that he feels that way because his performances have been reflect, reflective of, of the way we've been playing. Everybody has favorite goals, uh, and for a lot of fans, you know, Chicho from midfield, it's, it's just electric. But I thought that you probably loved the second and third goals more because they had the ball. You won the ball in a dangerous spot up the field walked in on the keeper and immediately created an opportunity. Yeah, you know, again, I, I, like, I like all goals, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not choosy. I, I think if they're for midfield or uh, a repress action, uh, I just think it basically, you know, to, to expand upon what you just said about our, you know, the game model, um, is that those are moments to exploit defenses when they're unorganized. Um, but you have to have the buy-in defensively to be able to press and have a good mentality when you lose the ball, not sit there and sulk, but to get after it. Um, so they're all, they're all goals that, that come from within that game model. And, 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 and uh, you know, the fact that we've been scoring quite a few goals this year, again, everyone wants to score. Everyone wants to play. And, and when you start scoring goals, the people in the back want to get on the ball more. And so it just becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy that we're a much more attacking team but it really starts with a good defensive mindset to win balls higher up the field and ask real questions of our opponents when they're building out. Given that there's a, an international trip, two road games, and three games in eight days, is that part of the reason you think you have everybody's attention from day one out here? Everybody knows they got a chance to earn minutes as long as they perform for you in training? Yeah, I think that, but I also think that, and, and we talked about it before we left, we're in a great position, you know? And, and, and again, I, I explained to the guys that I was in this league for for 12 years before I won a championship. And that was, I only came close once and I was so fortunate. So these moments, younger players think that, oh, I'm a young player, I'm gonna have all these opportunities. Doesn't happen like that. There's too many great teams in this league, you know? And so to make sure that when we come back from this break, that we're always thinking about this opportunity that, is, that, that we've created, that we now have to take advantage of. And so 
you know, yesterday's session, fantastic. Today's session, fantastic. Uh, Sunday session was, was, was a great introduction. So I just feel like it's one thing to talk about belief, but it's another thing when you see the belief in the eyes of the players.